Hey, Malcolm. It's good to see you today, too. We have Carson Potter today. She's from Edmond North. Um, she has been in 4-H for a number of years now, since she was a little girl. She's 15 now, and she's an officer in 4-H, and she has a number of projects. Every time I meet these young adults, these 4-H kids, I think, I, I didn't do any of this stuff. I mean, they, they're so far advanced beyond, Malcolm, what you and I were back in the day. But, Carson, tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me about why 4-H is important to you, why you made the decision to get into it, and then let's talk about some of your projects. So 4-H is important to me because it helps me learn life skills I need to know beyond, um, like, in my adulthood. Um, it helps me find people across the state that I may not have met um, otherwise. Uh, it also allows me to, like, learn about all these different ways and explore all these different parts of a life and um, different... Um, just different things to do, opportunities. Yeah. And I'll tell you, that's a big deal. When I grew up in Burns Flat, Western Oklahoma, we were talking about that. I didn't have that large circle of influence. And as you get into 4-H, you meet more and more people. Mm -hmm. As part of that, you've come up with some pretty good projects. I know you're into photography, and I know you're into health and fitness and cooking. So first, when I talked to you earlier, you, you light up when we talk about photography. Tell me why you like photography and what you do with that. Yeah, I love photography because it's just a way. I'm not very, like, artistic or creative. I cannot draw. So, um it's an easy way for me to like be artistic. Um, I like photo or like my photography project is um, a service project. We make Christmas cards for veterans, and so um, I go to local 4-H clubs um, or um, other um, organizations and present a PowerPoint on cell phone photography, and then they take photos of miniature scenes with Christmas decorations, send them to me, and then I make Christmas cards out of them and deliver them to the um, Oklahoma City VA. Now, as part of that, we talked earlier how you, it's angles and it's lighting and that I'm 53, okay? I've had my <laughs> iPhone for a while, but I'm not as good at selfies as, as perhaps you might be. You could help me with the right angle, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to take 85 of them and pick one. That's what Malcolm does. I've seen his phone reel, 100 pictures, picks one. Malcolm, you look great. All right, so you also do the food and health and safety uh, and exercise. Tell me about what you do. You've won some awards. You have a $500 award and some things, and you also have a grant. So tell me first about the grant you got and who you teach and what you've done with that. Okay, so I run, I got a grant to make a healthy living workshop. We run a healthy living workshop using this grant that I wrote. Um, and I received from the um, Oklahoma 4-H Foundation. We then get together a group of workshops and present as one large workshop where they learn about food safety, um, the different aspects of their health, their physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual health. And then they um, learn about fitness and all kinds, and mindfulness. That's a big one that we focus on. Um, and then they can take all these skills with them and take them home. They learn about how to cook and the different um, ways that they can, um, or the different, like, my plate and stuff like that. And um, so they learn about the different food groups, and um, then they make their lunch. And so I think that was one of the biggest things for me was watching them make their lunch. They were having so much fun. It's like, oh, I can do adult things. Like, all I see at home is my parents doing this. And I think they really enjoyed being able to do it themselves. Your mom tells me that you're actually a very, very good cook, <laughs> unlike Brother Rexton, who can't even make a peanut butter jelly sandwich, <laughs> that you do a really good job and you enjoy doing that. So what kind of fulfillment do you get out of teaching these younger kids how to do that type of stuff? Yeah, I love just, like, seeing their reactions, like, oh, I can do it. Um, I think a lot of them came in thinking, oh, there's no way, like, I can do this. They were very hesitant at first, and then... As I was like handing out jobs, they were like, oh, I can do it, I can do it. Um, it was just really like fulfilling to watch them step up. Well, I think you're doing great things. I mean, in addition to being this age and you've done a grant and you've used that grant for successful, uh, to then teach these kids and, and all the things you're doing, an officer and you're going to be another officer, you're doing great. You really are. What I like to do is I have a law firm here in town. I was in 4-H uh, back in the day. And so I like to recognize young adults that are doing things different in our community. So the first thing I have for you is you are the noble cause winner for what month is this? Is this June? Yes. For June of 2023. In addition to that, I have a check for you um, and for your local 4-H organization. It's just my way of saying thank you. 
keep up the good work. Don't stop. We have a shortage of young adults that are doing things for the community beyond just doing something for themselves. So I, I think I join your mom and your dad and your brother. We're very, very proud of you. Keep it up. We look forward to seeing the great things that you do in the future. Guys, another great Noble Cause winner. That's incredible. And congratulations again, Carson. Yeah, that's right. This segment was sponsored by Noble McIntyre and McIntyre Law. Attorney Noble McIntyre, McIntyre.